Hi, welcome back to Mad Resolve. I saw a video on Texture Labs about one twisty text graphics thing that he just released. We'll be doing a DaVinci Resolve version of that. Let's get to it. Go to effects, go to effects, then drag fusion composition. Let's increase the duration of this to about, yeah. 10 seconds, they're about to click on there and go to Fusion tab. Click on an empty space, search for Cube, Cube 3D, click OK. Go to Effects, under Templates, go to Fusion, expand it, go to Shaders, drag Chrome down. Right click on this, drag it here, select front, right click on this, drag it here, select right. Do this until you select all the faces of the cube. And we're done. Drag the cube here. Now we need to create the text 3D. Click on text 3D, type I can type anything, my own. I'm going to type mad resolve. Drag back to the viewer. Close the effects tab so we have more space to do what we need to do. I'm going to use Gilroy. Click on there. Let's go to extrusion. Increase the depth a wee bit. Um, that should be good. There we go. Scroll up. Go to shadings, uncheck use on material, then change this color to I think I want to use something dirty uh, like that. Yep. Then for the bevel material, I want to use something darker. Something like that. That's for the text. Drag the and connect it to Q3D immerse 3D result. Drag that to the viewer, you'll see that the text is right in the middle of the cube. So I need to move either the cube backwards or move the text forwards. In this case, I decide to move the cube backwards. So I click on the cube, go to transform the Z. I reduce it till just a bit. So I can click on Alt and drag the view so I can see the space between the cube and the text. Then I can Increase that until it's eating just a little bit into the text, which is what I want. I can hold down Alt, click to drag, so I can select the view properly. Then I can I move the, the, the cube up. Yes, so it's text is kind of centered on the cube. That's fine. Now we need to increase the width of this cube to cover mat resolve. I go to controls, uncheck log width, inside and increase the width to that. Let's say I want to increase it to double that to maybe like 10 or even 15. Then the height, let's reduce it to, let's say 0 0.75. The depth to about the same size, 0.75. Now, if we go back and hold out Alt and go to the edge file, that we need to move the cube a little further because of the change we just made. So I go here and drag it so it just touches it. Drag that to C and drag that a wee bit in, a bit in. I think we are good. Yeah, we're good now. Yeah. So I hold down Alt to view and drag it down, zoom out a little bit. Now we see that the text is right in the center of the cube. I don't want that. I want the text to be at this end of the cube. So I need to move either the cube down or move the text down here. In which case I decide to move the cube down. So I click on the cube like that. So I get something like that. Then I want this text to be on each face of the cube. Instead of copying and pasting the text, I 
find duplicate 3d at that and here four copies i want the rotation to be minus 90 so we see that happening here but it's not exactly what we want so we grab offset why we drag that to see it's sitting just perfectly how beautiful can that be guys so let's zoom in hold on control let's see how it sits whether it's sitting properly hold on all to see there's some space so there's a little bit of space so I drag that down a little and hold on control zoom in to see inside the cube so i can see if this is sitting properly so this one is not in the other guys are too in so we need to move things about a bit so i go here drag that out so that is done then i move this cube up a little yeah, up a little so I can see that. Yeah, so it's like that. So let's go to Alt. Let's zoom out a little. Go to Alt C. So everything is fine except that it's not positioned properly. So we go to Duplicate. Go to Z Offset. So it's positioned just fine. Move it back a little. Yeah. I think that's about it and and it looks like we need to adjust things a little yeah we need to adjust things a little bit so i go to the cube move it down just go back and forth then the y value drop it down a little Drop the cube down a bit more. As well, why we drop it down a bit more? And let's go to check the back of it, holding down Alt. So everything just a little bit more. Let's check that. Move the cube back just a little bit. Yeah, so everything appears to be okay. Yeah, so zoom out a little. We are all to see what we've done. Fantastic. So the next thing we do, let's set the chrome the diffuse color to black, right? The next thing we do, we add a transform 3D. Drag that in here. We want to, it to rotate along the axis. We click on here. But if we rotate this, we find that the anchor point is at this corner. We need to move it at the center there. So to do that, go to pivot, go to here, we type um, 0.275. And this we type minus 0 0.375 and that works so we go here we can have a keyframe we go to the 10th frame get a keyframe we type minus 30 we go to click on transform go to spline select rotation zoom to fit and we select this and we pick this relative so this makes sure the animation the rotation keeps going on and on until the end of the composition if we play what we just did fantastic so we're done with that close the spline window now we want to there's one other thing we forgot to do we need to replicate this mad resolve across this length so we need to create some space click here Find another duplicate 3D node, add that. Um, let me see, we can create four copies. Four copies, then next offset. So it looks like, let's do that. We need to increase the length of the tube. So I go to Q3D to 
controls increase the width a bit more. Let's say 20. 20. Then we move it down. So we go to the other end. Let's say move it down just a wee bit. And we're good on that. Fantastic. So if we, move, if we play this, see the whole thing moving. Fantastic. So we go on to add bender. 3D. We go to twist. Twist along the X axis. Drag that to the viewer. See, everything is twisted wrongly. We have to click move objects, then it's twisted the right way. Which is what we want. This is exactly what we want. We add a merge node, a merge 3D node. Connect that. Then we add a camera. We add um, spotlight. Then we click control space. We add um, ambient light. Add that. This ambient light will increase the intensity to about 0 0.65. Spotlight will leave it at that or increase the cone angle. We set it to linear. And then we drag this merge here. Zoom out a little by holding down control and scrolling. Then we drag this out just a little bit. Control. See how it's in the keyboard. Let me just use the screen copy. Go here and paste. Drag that in here. And I go to Alt. I can see it from the side. I drag this up. Drag this here. Then I go here, I turn this down. So I want to create four spotlights shining on the four different sides, the top, the front, the back, and bottom. So I go here, right click, copy, paste, and drag this here, drag this down here. Turn this face that. Go back here, drag this back a little bit more, and just drag this also back a little bit more. And then we copy and paste another one. Copy, paste, connect it. What we did, what I did was another copy of this. So instead of doing that, I can just drag this all the way down, all the way down. Now yeah. I go here, turn it there, go here, let it down a little bit more. So if I scroll out, you see that the lights are concentrated on that end of the Cube. Then I go here, I, I drag a ren render node here, connect this to the connect this to the render node. On the render node, I set software renderer to OpenGL renderer. Click on lights and shadow. Now this camera, if I go to render now, you see that it's basically showing nothing. So I go to camera 3D, go to transform. And then increase the Z so you get something like that, right? So we move this to the side. Let me see something here. It looks like these these are not touching the. I need to still go here, reduce this. Yes, so it looks better now. So now I go to camera, increase, increase this a little bit more. Yeah. So to fit, I can drag it down a little. 
okay so what i want it to also do as it's rotating i want it to be moving across the screen very slowly so what i do is i go to the beginning click x and i go to 10 also i increase that a little and i go to spline I uncheck this, I click zoom to fit, I select this, and click on set relative. So that way, what we've done now, if you click, so it gradually moves across the screen for the length of the comp and the text rotates around it. And we're done. I connect this to media out and we're done. I hope you were able to learn one or two things for this tutorial. Thank you for your time. It's a bit long. Thanks for watching and um, have a nice one. See you on the next one. Bye.